Hello and welcome and thank you for joining. Today we're going to talk about sharing and visibility and more specifically talking about public group and queues and how are they different when to use one versus the other um, and just really going to look at this requirement and try to solve uh, this problem or use case. And if you are very interested in sharing or if you're preparing for a sharing exam or uh, advanced admin or admin um, or just in any case, um, this document is highly recommended um, if you want to kind of brush up your sharing skills this is available on trailhead i'll share the link with you so you can practice this um, document on your own so we're not going to go through the entire document this is basically a company which sells software and hardware so we have hardware and software and the requirement we're going to focus on today is this detail requirement um, mostly around cases so on this detail requirement it uh, the first point here is cases are initially owned by a specialty team but can be assigned to an individual case owner so that uh, is a clear indication that that we need a queue because the difference major difference between a queue and public group is that a queue is something that can own a record whether it's a custom object or a standard object called um, case and lead so only case and lead are, can be assigned to a queue so Basically, since it's saying that initially owned by a specialty team, that's our indication that it needs to be a queue owned um, case. Because if it's a team, you can't have one user. So only a queue and a user can own a record in Salesforce. So that's the number one. Um, and then we keep reading this. So cases are visible to the team by default, but will only be visible to the case owner and their case manager once assigned. So what that means is initially everybody in that queue or in everybody in that queue should be able to see those cases which is perfect because anybody who owns that case as a queue member will be able to see all the cases as they come in but once somebody gets assigned to the to a case some individual owner then the case queue members won't be able to see it anymore so what they're saying here is that the case needs to be private because the only way to make something visible and hide is by making the object itself private first and then you can start opening it up by using sharing settings or the ownership changes or other different tools available to us. So that's the indication that it needs to be private. Um, and then when the case is initially created, it will be assigned to members of that specialty team based on the combination of type and subtype. So this is a clear um, indication that it needs to be a case assignment rule. And then we use the case assignment rule to assign the cases to a queue, which then gets the case as they come in. So uh, pretty straightforward. The third point, if you have worked with case assignment, if not, we're, we're going to take a look at that as well. So where does the public group come into in all this? So if I just read the requirements so far, there is no real need for public group. Um, queues should be able to uh, sufficiently meet all these requirements because if you are a member of a queue and you get assigned a record and there are a bunch of other people on the same queue, everybody gets access to the same case record. And the moment you create a queue, you'll have a list view with the same queue. So if I, I'm logged in as as a support user here and I've created a queue called desktop specialty queue and if I go to that um, logged in as support user I'll see all the cases that I got assigned to and the case owner here will be desktop specialty okay um, so and then the moment I accept it it will disappear from so I can just accept the queue from here accept a case and it will disappear from that queue and now it comes into my cases and these are the cases I own as a support user nobody else will be able to see this case because my public um, sharing settings for the case is private and that's the requirement um, the requirement is that once the case is assigned to a user nobody else should see it because it's removed from the queue nobody should uh, be able to see it but um, additionally I want to add another requirement is but what I want is I want the some members uh, from that specialty team so basically I have hardware and software team and I want the members of software and hardware group to be able to see cases assigned to anyone at any time um, so they should be able to see the cases 
even assigned to an individual member. So in order to do that, you can't use queue anymore because once the case gets assigned to someone, they lose that ownership and the ownership is changed to the individual user. So in that scenario, now I have a public group created um, and I'll show you how to use that in a sharing setting. So in my org, I have a public group created for desktop specialty and a public group for hardware. And I'm going to start from the queue because you need a queue to have a case assignment. So I've got a queue here. And um, just the queue is called the desktop specialty queue. I already have it created just to show you. I'm going to say select object case and the users. So queue also can have users from a public group. So if you click on this drop down, you can directly assign the public groups directly to the queue. So which is also a handy feature. So you can have public groups uh, as per the requirements and then you can come in here and assign the public group directly rather than having uh, queue each user picking each user from here. So that's another advantage as well. So a public group is, and then I'm going to just say group desktop specialty because that matches with the queue. So I'm going to leave it at that. And then um, coming to sharing setting, so let's go to sharing setting. And what I want to do is I want to share the cases with the desktop group at all times. So share case with desktop group. And so you have two options here. You can say based on record owner and based on criteria. So let's go with based on criteria. And what I want to do is anytime the type of the case is desktop, sorry, hardware, I want the public group have access to public group named hardware have access to all those cases. So, and this is where the difference lies between queues and groups. If I did not create a public group, um, I can't have the queues, so there is no queue here in this option, so I cannot just share it with a queue. Um, the only way to do that is public group or, or roles. So if your if your org wide default, if your org hierarchy matches, then you can always use roles if you have a separate role for hardware. In my requirement, I just don't have a role for hardware, so I have a public group created for that in order to share those extra records with those hardware. So if you have to differentiate between queues and group, think of it, um, queue is more used for case assignment and ownership purposes. And yes, they can uh, share records so if you are as long as you are part of the queue so if you are part of the queue you can get access to those records um, once the queue ownership ends when somebody else gets signed to that case or lead then you no longer have access to the, those records but if there's a requirement that on top of that we also need these group of people have access to those records and if there is no role for that particular group then you can create a group and add those users into the group so that's what I'm doing here. And I just need them to give give them read-only access here. So I'm just going to save it. And that's pretty much it for this, uh, for this requirement. Um, so groups are also, groups can get very complicated. So I wouldn't recommend going super crazy with the groups hierarchy because you can have a group inside a group inside a group. So you can also say, if I go to this, desktop specialty or hardware, I can add another public group inside the group. So I can just add the group desktop specialty inside this group. So the more groups, the more uh, deeper you go in, inside this group level, um, the sharing, <coughs> excuse me, the more deeper um, you go inside this group, uh, sometimes it gets cumbersome to kind of um, see what what how is the the more uh, you get into the group hierarchy sometimes it gets a little tricky to kind of debug on how the user is getting access to a certain record because you'll have to kind of go into that group see if the user is member of that group 
then go a level deeper see if the user is a member of that group and so on and so forth so just be careful on how much levels deep you are going for the group uh, if you are creating groups okay so that met the requirement for the public group and assignment and case assignment is uh, what I'm using here and if you're already familiar with case assignment you can skip this part but here I have case assignment created and all it is doing I just have one and one rule entries and all it's doing is the criteria is this Q is text up specialty Q and I'm just assigning it to those people and you can only choose user partner user and Q you cannot choose public group from here so that's one point you always need a Q for the case assignment rule and one thing is um, that was real challenging was um, if you create if you're creating a case from here make sure you have this checked uh, assign using an active assignment rule check otherwise the case assignment rules won't fire and uh, here's a help article for that now to, in order to get that on the page layout I did have to go to the case page layout and add that into the page so just a quick um, quick gotcha because it took some time for me to figure that out um, so you have to go to case layout and go to the page layout editor layout properties and just make sure this this part is checked default and show an edit page these both are checked um, and then your case send me those who fire okay um, I hope that was helpful that's all for today's video I'll I'll be making more sharing videos um, and let me know if you have any more questions on sharing and visibility. Thank you so much.